In this video, we're gonna define what a stochastic process is, and we're gonna look at a few simple examples. So if I say that I've got a sequence of random variables like this, so all of these guys, x1, x2, x3, x4, usually up to infinity. If I say these are all random variables, then the sequence xn, where in this case n is a natural number, is a stochastic process, okay? So it's a sequence where the entries of that sequence are random variables in the discrete case. So this is when n is a natural number. You can also have cases where we're looking at a continuous stochastic process, in which case the sequence definition breaks down a little bit. But for now, we're going to look at what you call discrete time stochastic processes. And these are stochastic processes that can be thought of as a sequence of random variables. The word stochastic basically just means random. That's really all it is. It's a random process. So if something is stochastic, then it is dependent on some probabilistic process. That's all it means. So it's just a random sequence uh, or a sequence that contains random variables. Let's look at a concrete example of that. Let's consider the stochastic process xn, where n is a natural number, with each element in the sequence being 1 with a probability p and 0 with a probability of q, which is also just 1 minus p. So we can see that that means that each term is actually a Bernoulli random variable, okay? And I could give you an example of what this would look like, right? So in general, it's going to be x1, x2, x3, and so on forever. That's kind of boring. So one actualization of this, so maybe this is something like tossing a coin or rolling a die and you get, you get a, a, a score of one if you land on the number four and a score of zero if you don't land on the number four. So anything that has a Bernoulli property to it, one actualization of this, after you've done that thing, tossing a coin repeatedly, rolling a die repeatedly, one actualization of that could be, for example, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, et cetera, right? Like, and this just goes on forever, or for as many terms as you want. Typically, it's gonna go on forever. And so this is an actualization of the stochastic process. So this is maybe something that could happen. But of course, there's lots of things that could happen. The first one could be zero, then the next one could be one. Of course, there's, there's loads of ways of, of this happening. But what we might be interested in is asking specific questions. Like, for example, what is the expected number of uh, terms before we get to the first, let's say the first zero or the first one or something like that? You could say, what is the expected number of terms before we get two ones in a row or two zeros in a row or the first one followed by a zero or things like that. So there's lots of things that you could ask about a stochastic process. Specifically, the one that I'm showing you right now, hopefully it should not be too surprising, but this is actually called a Bernoulli process because each term in our stochastic process, each xi, has got a Bernoulli distribution. And of course, there can be different types of stochastic processes. You can have processes where you don't have a Bernoulli distribution. You actually have maybe a binomial distribution or an exponential, or you could even have a normal distribution or something like that. And of course, some of those would not be what we call these discrete time stochastic processes. In fact, they would be continuous stochastic processes. But we'll get to that in the, in the distant future. For now, there is an awful lot we can say about discrete time stochastic processes. So in the next video, we're going to introduce a concept called a simple random walk, which is another type of stochastic process. And it's a bit more interesting than this, because you might say this is kind of just basic stuff, right? And of course, it kind of is, but they get a lot more complicated. So the concept of a simple random walk we'll explore later. But for now, just to summarize what we've done, we've defined what a stochastic process is. It's for all intents and purposes in this video. It is a sequence of random variables, although when you consider a continuous time random process, it's not a sequence really. And then we've looked at a specific type of what you call discrete time stochastic process, which is the process Xn up here, 
and this is a Bernoulli process because it follows a, each term follows a Bernoulli distribution. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.